friends, my name is Sura and welcome back to another vlog. So in today's reading vlog, I am going to be reading the most iconic viral manga ever. And I said like a uh, viral because most of these mangas, you know, they went viral like in TikTok and YouTube on in real life, like in general, before the existence of social media as well, like these manga will always be famous uh, when they were being released and still to this moment right now these are all considered you know perfect iconic viral manga really famous everyone loves them everyone recommends them and so surprisingly i've never read any of these mangas please please don't judge me uh because just circumstances like i didn't not like there was a certain reason why i didn't read any of these manga before and also surprisingly i've never watched the anime for only for any of these manga and they all have really long and iconic enemies and i just i never watched it <laughs> wait without further ado let me show you guys the manga please do not judge me why i didn't read these before or why i didn't watch the anime that's just how it is so the first manga i'm going to be reading is the legendary haikyuu uh by haruichi furudate this is one of the most famous uh, sports manga out there following a volleyball team. My sisters actually love IQ. They're obsessed with the anime. My sister collects the manga. This is actually her volume. So surprisingly, I have like the volumes, the first volumes for all of these manga. Uh, some are mine, some are my sisters. All I know is, are they gay? I don't know. Everyone ships them. Probably they're not gay. <laughs> and uh, everyone just ships them. And that's like all I know about it. And it's very intense. And it's volleyball. And I know someone graduated and all hell broke loose. I, I don't know anything about that. But I really want to. Like, I'm not that into volleyball. But I love Takahashi Ran. And I know one of the characters was based on Takahashi Ran, Who is like in the Japanese volleyball team. If you don't know him, he's so gorgeous. And he's like wow amazing uh so yeah i'm gonna be reading haikyuu and figure out what's the hype about but i know people die for haikyuu the next manga on this list is sailor moon uh, sailor moon by naoko takuichi eternal edition it says you're in huge you know if this is the eternal edition if this is gorgeous the cover is all sparkly and it's like do you see the size difference this is even heavy to carry these were expensive uh, but it's beautiful edition and I'm so glad I'm going to be reading it for the first time in this edition Yes, guys, I've never read Sailor Moon before. I've never watched it I know all about the concept of Sailor Moon and you know Magical girl and all of that and I'm like in love with all the characters and the beauty of it But I was never I never uh, watched it. I really want to watch it like I have nothing against it It looks very interesting. I'm in love with all the memes and all the aesthetic of the 90s and 2000s and the magical girl aesthetic The art is gorgeous and I'm really excited to read it and delve into it And I am in love with this edition and I have nothing like nothing to say uh, You all probably know more about Sailor Moon than I do so I will not even go into the synopsis of this The next manga on this list that <laughs> I feel like if I show this, you are going to kill me. But I've never watched the anime for this because I was confused with... Because there are two editions, like there's the older one which came out when I was younger and then there's this better version that came out later on and I'm still confused which one to watch. But these are also excuses because I had the manga and I never read it like for years. Um, I remember the only thing like I remember doing this uh, is that I had the, the PlayStation 2 game for this manga slash anime and uh, I played that like uh, all summer when I was younger but I never watched the anime um, so that's on me it's Full Metal Alchemist uh, by the incredible uh, Hiromu Arakawa in this also beautiful edition that came out a while back uh, I'm in love with this edition it's hardcover the, the paper is glossy and really high quality and I never read Full Metal Alchemist um, but I do remember like playing the PlayStation 2 game it was one of my favorites it was so good and it had some parts from the anime and I would watch them and I would cry uh, and that's probably why I never picked the anime because to me it sounded so sad 
and when I, I'm still like when I was younger and still till now I refuse to watch uh, sad things it's full metal alchemist guys I'm not even gonna delve into what it's about it's what about the greatest alchemist in the world who lost the body of his brother and his arm or leg or whatever while trying to bring his mother back to life we're gonna be reading this I'm going to yeah yeah it's here a full metal alchemist in this beautiful edition i'm so excited to re finally read it and the next manga that i'm going to be reading this week and this i actually debated a lot if i should choose this one because it's uh, how do i say you're gonna feel like no like this is considered one of the greatest manga ever in the world but it's not as mainstream as the rest that i just showed that I just showed and it is 20 Centuries Boys by Naoki Urasawa I know Monster by Naoki Urasawa is his most famous manga and it's like considered one of the greatest manga ever in the world but I did read Monster, I haven't finished it but I wanted to delve into something else by him and just as good if not better and you know so we have 20 Century Boys uh, the greatest manga about a cult, it talks about a cult uh, and takes place in the 60s or in the 90s, 1997, yeah. So a lot of you might not know this, but I want you to know this is just as iconic and just as good. And I wanted like to choose different manga from different genres, representing you know different genres, and I am really excited to read this. Um, I'm pretty sure you all know Naoki Urasawa is one of the greatest mangaka in the world. I'm pretty sure you've seen this symbol uh, before. If you don't know, I'm pretty sure you saw this symbol before and if you didn't know, it is from 20th Century Boys. And yeah, Naoki Urasawa is one of the greatest manga cats ever and I love Monster and I love how twisted his characters are and that's why I wanted to read this one. This is Seinen, I believe, and that's why I chose it. So yeah, I'm really excited to read it. It's the greatest manga about the greatest cult. And the last manga that I'm going to be reading uh, in this vlog <clears throat> Attack on Titan by Hajime Sayama. So I've never watched Attack on Titan simply because I hate military anime slash military manga. Like I don't care how famous the thing is. I just really don't care for military anime. And I know this is not military like um it's pretty military like I I think it's military anime. I don't know. There are giants, I mean, but that doesn't hide the fact that there is like organized military or police or whatever so that was mainly the reason why i didn't really watch it or read it and i know how hype this is uh so i'm really excited to see what the hype is about but at the same time i want you to know like the main reason why i didn't pick it up is because it's military but other than that i am going to ignore that fact and i'm going to delve into this one this week and check it out and see what the hype is about I'm not even gonna say what Attack on Titan is about, I'm pretty sure you all know. Uh, this is the most uh, iconic, the most viral, the most known enemy slash manga in the world and it just ended and I do know that people burned their manga after the final chapter was released and I think that's so too much, you shouldn't be burning any book or manga, like that's just insane to me. But I know that people were pretty angry after it was finished. Um, and that the mangaka was really disappointed as well uh, but i i don't really care about those things i am really excited to delve into it and see what the hype is about so yeah guys these are the manga that i'm going to read and i'm very very excited because i know all of you like or most of you have read all of these and i am so excited to you know discuss these with you and so yeah i right now i have to go to uni actually but i think the bit the first one that i'm going to pick is haikyuu because I just, I have an exam and I don't want to, you know, like read something really heavy like 20th Century Boys or Attack on Titan or even Fullmetal Alchemist. So I think I'm gonna go with sports. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be starting Haikyuu and I'm going to update you guys later. Bye bye! is a social institution and not a physical reality.
There is, in other words, no such thing as time. There is such a thing as rhythm. But time as such is a social institution. Hello friends, how are you? So I finished Haikyuu, the first volume, and I wanted to update you. So Haikyuu, um, I actually really liked the first volume, I ended up giving it 4 stars. For some reason it took me really a long time to finish it because it's really packed uh, in comparison like to what I was previously reading, like shoujo. Um, but yeah, the text is really small, I'm literally blind, it's really packed, and uh, so I actually really like this, but it does have like the blueprint of any uh, shonen sports manga or anime uh, if you've ever read or watched one. So I'm going to tell you about the synopsis and maybe a little bit of spoilers, but it's not like you haven't watched or read Haikyuu. I feel like I'm the last person on earth reading this. I feel like everyone knows already what this is about. So as I said, it does have the blueprint of um, just a normal shonen in which you have a main character who is lacking in every sense of the word and he has but he has like that one thing that makes him special from other people and the one thing that makes him you know like not less but you know where he lacks the most in which case our main character Hinata is a very short person uh but he wants to become a volleyball player and here they really emphasize a lot um the fact that volleyball needs like really tall people so they can play um to be honest i did not think about that at all and you have the rival the second main, ca main character kagiyama or in this case it could be a rival or a friend like the sasuke to the naruto you know and he is really bad attitude uh overconfident um every he's literally sasuke guys uh the only thing is he has been traumatized like sasuke and Wow, I, I keep comparing it to Naruto because Naruto is like, it just follows the blueprint, you know, like the follows the rules of shonen. So this really fits exactly like that. Uh, so yeah, Kagayama, he's been, he's really overconfident, really selfish, self-centered uh, because he thinks he's the best. He's really great at volleyball. He's really tall as well, but he has been through some things traumatizing. And so now he has that thing, you know, and they are both of them, you know, the story starts where they meet against each other, playing against each other. And then one year later, when they start high school, they end up being on the same team and now they have to work together. And surprisingly, their abilities complement each other. So they would work best if they would, if they work like as a team, but they hate each other. And so they're, yeah, we're still building that teamwork. Uh, so this volume, so I can understand where the huge story come from. A haiku is really long, more than 40 volume. I mean, it's not that long for regular shonen. Uh, it's more than 40 volume. I believe it's finished, both the manga and the anime. I think I would enjoy the anime so much more if uh, more than manga for some reason. I feel like the music and um, the whoosh whoosh sounds they, they write, you know, like in the, um, in the manga. Um, the whoosh and uh, yeah, they would translate much better to an anime format. 
so I, I think I'm going to complete, actually, I'm just going to start the enemy and just watch the enemy. I don't think I'm going to read the manga or finish it. I feel like the enemy would be much better for me. Like, I don't know. So yeah, uh, this is, I really liked it. Hi Q, yay. Next volume, I think I'm going to pick, let's pick Full Metal Alchemist. So yeah, the next volume I'm going to read is definitely Full Metal Alchemist. So I'm going to try reading that next. Uh, yeah, I'm going to update you guys later and bye. Bye for now. Marks K on Gangsta. So I just got back from uni but wanted to update you so I started Full Metal Alchemist and I was only able to read like not much like only that much but I'm already obsessed like I don't want to put it down I only put it down because I have like like I'm busy I have school and work and you know in my internship I started cardiology and it's so hard but this is so freaking good like the story is genuinely so interesting and even like from the first couple of pages you got like curious about the characters and about the plot and about what's going to happen and it's, it's so so good like i just like i knew about the story because i told you i played the playstation 2 game growing up i was obsessed with that game and they kept like putting some parts from the enemy but only like the general story like how edward and his brother alphonse use parts of themselves and like alphonse loses all of his body when they are committing the biggest sin ever um so if you don't know what the story is about the story talks about edward and his brother alphonse who are like in this world where uh, there are chemists and there's science but they're also there's also like uh, separate uh, kinds of a uh, genre or like a science called alchemy where they perform it's like a mixture of science and magic kinds of and uh but it's like it relates on science in the end and 
they were still like i don't want to spoil it but here like in the beginning we know that both of them lost some parts of themselves and like alphonse like edward lost his hand uh, lost his arm and his leg while uh, he and his brother lost all of his body and now his soul resides in this armor um let me show you the armor like this armor right here like his soul resides in this armor because he lost all of his body and we know like from the beginning that they committed this huge sin while performing alchemy like they like committed the, the biggest sin in alchemy and that's why something was taken from them and in the beginning we are told that you, the, you cannot teaching that doesn't speak of faith have no meaning because humankind cannot gain something without first giving something in return so I believe we are still going to know about their sin and what they perform. So I'm obsessed. I remember it's so good. Um, the art is very it's like awkward at times. Uh, the art is it's not my favorite, like personally, but it's still really, really great. And you know, this edition is so gorgeous and it's so beautiful. And we have the glossy, shiny paper. It's such a good quality. And of course it's hardcover. Like I would really love to collect the whole manga in this edition. I have a second volume as well. And look, like there's so much detail and they're so easy to read. I'm going to finish it today and I'm going to update you guys when I finish it. Since I look presentable, I got a package. So let's open it together. Um, uh, yes, it's Saturn Apartments Volume 1. Uh, so if you guys don't know, I actually live in Turkey and my Turkish is really bad. And I really need like Turkish. I need to use Turkish when I'm in my intern. Uh, so I'm going to be combining the two things that I love. So I thought if I buy Turkish manga, uh, it will help me with my language. Uh, here manga is actually available like in Turkish everywhere. The manga like is very loved and available. So I got Saturn Apartments Volume 1 and I've already showed you Volume 2. So I've always wanted to read Saturn Apartments and but it's like out of print in english and so i thought if i read it in turkish it will help my language i am holding it wrong it's like this so if you don't know what this is about this is a daily life manga i think uh about the daily life of people who are living like in this but i heard that it is very hard wrenching as well and like sad and this is what the art looks like it's very interesting uh yeah, I heard that it deals with a lot of really difficult subject, even though it's like daily life and yeah. So I have, as I said, volume one and volume two and look how pretty like the Turkish edition is. It has French flaps and then it says Saturn Evleri, which is by Hisao Ivaok. So yeah. I will update you, of course, about Saturn and Like it's not, there is no difference. Like if I read it in English or in Turkish, uh, if I like it, I'm going to update you guys about this in my wrap up. And yeah, that's it for today. I'm gonna go eat now. Bye. Hello friends, so I just wanted to update you because I finished the first volume of Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa and I have to say that this was like one of my favorite things that I've read recently it was so so freaking good, I ended up giving it 5 out of 5 stars it's just so incredible and a very powerful first volume the story is so great, like it just wraps you around it and you just don't want to put it down like at all and 
this is such an amazing introduction because it makes you want to pick the rest of the volumes right away i do have a second volume uh but i i i'm not planning like on reading from the alchemist right now because i want to collect these beautiful editions first but all in all, I really, really enjoyed this one. So if you don't know what Fun Alchemist is about, it's about these two brothers who live in this society or this like dystopian place where there is this thing called alchemy and it's a mixture of magic and science and or chemistry. And it's basically like bringing things or transforming things. Uh, but the thing is, uh, our main character... Uh, commit the biggest taboo or the biggest crime the biggest sin you know commit the biggest sin when they try to bring their mother back to life and that ends up uh taking things from them uh because alchemy is based on these rules where it, there's there should be like an equal exchange you cannot get something without giving something back and that ends up you know like the god ends up taking something from them he ends up taking edwards or main characters uh right uh arm on his left leg and taking the body of all of his younger brother alphonse this you've seen him before like i'm pretty sure you've seen him uh, and so yeah it's transported like this and so now they they are state alchemists who are considered like vagabonds they go from place to place searching for some kind of new science to bring their bodies back the story is incredible for many reasons but my favorite one is the fact that our main character is not a loser uh if you've read like a lot of shonen manga or watch a lot of shonen enemy the main character is always lacking he's always someone who is a loser and he's lacking in ability in um and he's just not in the same level as the rest of the character but with hard work and commitment and stuff like that and consistency he becomes this great main character that's not the deal with our main character edwards he is considered a genius even in the uh, this first volume everyone around him knows that he is a genius of alchemy and even in his young age he is like a state alchemist already and that is the greatest thing that i love about him like even though he acts some immature sometimes he's someone who's smart and dedicated and mature and he is the chosen one he is the chosen one who committed this great sin and he is trying to correct it i love this first volume and i really want to watch the enemy i didn't know like which one to watch but i believe i'll just start with full Milcom's brotherhood correct me if i'm wrong or if i need to watch the the earlier enemy the the just full metal, full metal alchemist one so yeah next i think i'm going to read hmm. should we read next i think i'm going to be picking this one uh yeah so i'm going to read more of it and i will update you guys about my thoughts maybe i'll update you at the halfway point because this is i believe two volumes in one uh it's huge so yeah i'll update you guys later bye oh my gosh she's looking miserable but anyway that's not why we're here i just wanted to tell you guys about 20th century boys by naoki urasawa i started it to be honest i read only the first chapter but like i can already see how huge the story is and how incredible it is so if you search like any cult manga or manga about cult this is going to be the number one manga and that is a very specific trope but it's one of my favorite tropes. you know i love reading about cults like books about cults or manga and i only to be honest i only know this one and suicide circle so if you have any other manga about cults please link them down below uh, oh i know i'm pd psycho as well yeah that's my my favorite so if you have any other manga about cults please put them in the comments but this one is the most famous one so this one actually the first chapter will show you different kinds of people like different groups or families or individuals during different times the story starts off in 1997 where our main character right here is the owner of a supermarket and the family that shops usually it's a supermarket disappears like all the members disappear he goes to check their house to see a symbol on their door and it is this symbol right here i'm probably sure you've seen it somewhere because it's kind of 
famous like this symbol and then he's going to try and recall what where he saw that symbol which will take us back to 1969 where he when he and his group of friends like this gang created this symbol as um like just like it created the symbol to represent themselves like this is the the gang they belong to you know like summer group of friends uh, like a group of friends where they play during the summer the gang really reminded me a lot in the gang in uh, um it by stephen king uh if you remember that gang that plays together during the summer it's really similar to this one and the story is going to take off from there how is this small symbol uh, how is the small symbol created by these group of children during the summer of 1969 is going to become this cult that's going to cause the disappearance of this family right here and even like maybe more stuff you know in the future but for now the only thing we know is this family disappeared and this symbol was left on the door and there are hints of this cult here and there spread out um it's already magnificent the art is so gorgeous like it's it's seriously so detailed and so beautiful but i can tell already like the manga is not for everyone it's probably going to be very triggering it's a mystery thriller and it's not kurosawa so there's going to be like a lot of you know dead bodies and <laughs> there's going to be like a lot of mysteries and a lot of uh, probably some people killed you know you're gonna find out why they're getting killed and stuff like that so i'm really looking forward to this I'm going to read a bit now since I have some free time since I just got back from uni, uh, hence why I look like this. Uh, and then I have to start studying. Uh, and so yeah, I am going to be reading a bit now and then when I finish it, I'm going to update you guys later. Maybe if I reach the halfway, halfway point, I'll update you again. So yeah, I'll update you guys later. Bye for now.
Hello friends, so I just wanted to update you because I finished 20th Century Boys, the first volume or the first omnibus by now Kurosawa and I loved every second of it, I have to say I'm giving it like 5 out of 5 stars, this is probably my favorite thing that I've read yet like in this vlog uh, but maybe like it's unfair a little bit to the other manga because this is like an omnibus so it contains like the first two volumes so we probably like got to see more of the story than in the other manga but to be honest even if like first of all even if i only read like the first volume or even like only the first chapter the story is just so great it literally interrupts you from the very first couple of pages i told you what this is about but it's just so so good like the story is so huge there's so many characters and they're all intertwined in the most like bizarre and creative ways and not only like takes place like they are not only connected like like now it takes you through their times and their families it takes you through their childhood and uh, teenagehood and then adulthood it takes you through their families how they're connected is just so creative and so smart and i this had so many twists like i could only imagine how many twists the rest of the manga has and like how many plot twists and how many stories and how many more characters that are going to be introduced because like even like only the first couple like the first volume introduced so many new characters and so many plot lines and just so many questions this story is huge and it's honestly so so good if you want a good thriller mystery manga like search no more this is the one like it's just so so great and for some reason I don't know if it, I like it more than Monster by Naoki Urasawa and I know Monster is like the elite manga like it is the Naoki Urasawa number one manga but for some reason I gravitated toward this one more but maybe because like I enjoy these kind of manga like do I enjoy serial killers or cults more? <laughs> I do enjoy reading about both but I am so in love with this one I don't know even like the characters are so lovable and so realistic and so like simple i just i really love this one like i'm gonna give it five out of five stars i'm not gonna go back and say again what it's about because i feel like i've said that numerous times while i was reading it but i really really enjoy it like the art is out of this world as well i'm sure you know like how great now curious art is um it's just so detailed and so realistic but also so majestic at some places i just really really love this and yeah, I am going to continue reading this one for for sure. But I feel like, like if I would, could, I want to collect it in this edition because this was really comfortable to read and it's just high quality. It's very high quality as well. So I just want to like maybe read one of these a month. That would be that would be really cute. That would be really cute. Not gonna lie. Maybe I'll buy the second omnibus next month. And yeah. Next, these are the last two left. Um, so I think. Now that I've read like all heavy manga, I think I'm gonna pick this one next and leave the big boss for the end. Uh, not that Sailor Moon isn't a big boss because she is her own boss. Uh, but yeah, I feel like after reading all these heavy manga, I want something maybe lighter or on a lighter note. And so I wanna try and read this one. Um, I'm not sure if this is the first volume or if it's also an omnibus because this is thick and it's heavy and it's big like see like comparison in sizes and then we have the tiny um Attack on Titan which is like the tiniest um yeah so Sailor Moon is the biggest one here uh I don't know if you guys saw the Attack on Titan Colossal editions, these are just, they look amazing. And if I want to collect Attack on Titan, I would collect them in the Colossal editions. But for now, I think I'm going to read this. I have uni today, so I just got ready and I am ready to head out. But maybe I'll read a couple of pages before leaving. And look at these glossy papers. This is such high quality. And it's like full with very beautiful illustrations and colorful pages and it's just so gorgeous this edition is just gorgeous and it has flip um what are they called french flaps it has french flaps and it's all sparkly as you can see the sparkles and did i put too much highlighter guys i just got ready but this is not sweat this is literally highlighter 
uh so yeah i'm this is not yeah it's highlighter anyway uh so yeah this is the one i'm gonna read next and i'm gonna look to update you later bye for now friends how are you so i just wanted to update you i'm almost halfway through sailor moon the first volume i is it the first volume i think it's one volume not like on omnibus but i'm really really enjoying this one like it's just so good natured like i don't know i was in a really bad mood and i was reading it and it just put me in the best mood ever like usagi chan like the main character she is so so adorable and she's just so realistic and relatable you know like even me as a you know 27 years old i just relate to her so much like she's so adorable and so cute but i didn't know like the first volume we're gonna collect like all the guardians i don't know if we're gonna collect them all so if you don't know what this is about it talks about usagi who's a 14 year old girl in the second year of middle school and she is just very lazy she's very realistic you know she just likes hanging out with her friends or just eating and sleeping and just lousing you know just uh, laying around at home and then one day she ends up you know helping this cat remove this bandage that was around her the cat's forehead or something like that and it turns out that this cat is like a magical cat and she the cat grants usagi our main character these powers and tells her that she is a guardian and now she needs to fight evil and to also find the other guardians she needs to find this princess so they can protect her and she needs to also collect these other guardians like there are other girls around her who also have these powers you know and so slowly usagi you know through the chapters she is going to be fighting evil and through that you know it's kind of episodic a little bit like through that chapter she's going to be fighting like a new enemy and we're also going to be discovering like one of the girls at her school or like the area around her is actually a guardian and she represents some kind of planet or moon or something like that some kind of element also like like i'm still not very I'm not sure you know i'm still not sure about uh like their powers or what they use or something like that but anyway it's really really cute i've been really enjoying it the art is out of this world like it's so magical like look at this the art is gorgeous and in this edition where you can actually see it so big and such good quality and look there's so many like uh colorful pages and color pages in these editions but to be honest you know the art is really really great like it's so beautiful and she's so cute like honestly I don't care what age you are, I feel like everyone should, can enjoy this, like it's just very universal experience somehow and yeah, like I just really really love it so much. I'm gonna finish it today or tomorrow and then I will update you guys. Uh, right now I'm going to go eat some sushi with my family and yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day as well and I'll update you guys later, bye bye! friends 
so I wanted to update you because I finished Sailor Moon uh, Volume 1, The Eternal Edition by Naoko Takuchi or Takuchi, yeah. And I have to say I really really enjoyed this one I think I'm gonna give it 3 out of 5 stars I was gonna give it 4 but I did realize like most of the stars I was giving it it was for the art and the nostalgia um, like it's true that I've never read it or watched the anime, but I've seen like this controls pop culture. Like I've seen a lot of part, a lot of parts of it, and just a lot of parts that are not in the volume or in the manga are just famous, like in general. Until you see them like often on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere, and just growing up with these things, you know, as well. And so I just felt really nostalgic, really warm reading it. The story. It has a lot of plot holes and I do realize that maybe this is not directed toward me, like especially at this age or during, you know, this era. And I hate that idea because I always want to be like a magical girl. Like, I really hate the idea that I notice these plot holes here and there, like with the storyline. And a lot of the pacing was off and it was kind of rushed at some places, but I was kind of bored at other places because it was being slow. But this, all in all, I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I want to continue. Maybe I'll watch the anime like the, um, not the new edition because I saw the new edition, the art is kind of weird. I want to watch the older edition, the nostalgic one. Uh, so yeah, all in all, I really enjoyed it. I still think this was a wonderful read because the art is magnificent. Like it's so, so freaking beautiful. And you know, all the characters are so relatable and they're so cute. They're all so charming. Uh, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. And next, I think there's nothing left except Attack on Titan. I'm going to pick Attack on Titan and finally see what the hype is about and like why everyone's raving about it but i'm pretty sure i know like i feel like i all the information i know about attack on titan i know it against my will um but that's with all the things that are hyped and viral so yeah i'm going to update you guys later and bye bye for now
Hello friends, how are you? So I wanted to update you about Attack on Titan. I finally finished it and I wanted to wrap up this vlog as well because I think it's like an hour long. Like I have so much footage and no time to edit. And I'm so sorry that lately my content has been like all over the place and you can feel like it has no heart, but it's because I'm so burned out and tired and I don't feel like doing anything. I am so cre creatively and academically burned out. And I just, yeah, I just, I'm so sorry for that. But for now, let's wrap up this vlog and let me tell you about my thoughts that you will not like about Attack on Titan. So to be honest, this is the worst first volume I've read, not only in this vlog, but throughout this year. Um, like this was so badly done. If I, it has just been released and I was reading it and I would just put it down like halfway and be like, this is, yeah, like without knowing the success it's gonna face later on and you know how the story is going to evolve and how I'm pretty sure later on you know the art became 20 times better the story may be 10 times better but for now like this as a first volume I wouldn't continue the story unfortunately with just this like it's just the art is horrendous I'm so sorry for that but, but manga is a visual medium and to me I have to understand at least what the panel is trying to convey you know through the art because a lot of this if you note, like, it doesn't have, like, a lot of, you know, like, talking. It's a lot of things that are happening during the panels. And, you know, most of the time, the art, unfortunately, is not good enough to convey it or make me understand what's going on, especially that it is action manga, action slash military manga. So there's a lot of equipment and a lot of things that are going on in the panel, like fighting and stuff like that. But I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't know who's fighting who or what's, what's going on also i couldn't take it seriously like they were all freaking out because of this thing and they were all, we're all gonna die of this and i turned the page into this like how do you take this seriously it looks so funny it looks so funny to me. like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry to everyone who adores this manga and likes this manga i hated it not even one character mikasa okay and the only character they ended up liking after this is mikasa and mostly because she stayed silent. My girl just, she was not, yeah, she she doesn't care. Eren, oh my God, Eren Yeager is so freaking annoying. Like he's the most annoying character. He's more annoying than Naruto because Naruto, you know, Naruto had like this purity about him, you know, like he shouts and he's loud and he's all over the place, but there is this purity about him that you just, this innocence that you accept. Erin Yeager is just nothing. Like, how you have the loudest mouth in the room and then you get, you're almost killed like in the first chapter. Like, he's so loud and for nothing. Like, he, how is it that Mikasa will always like save you? Like, it doesn't even thank her. I hate him. I hate him. I hate all the characters. I mean, uh, like, not even one character you were like oh my god yes this is the character i'm gonna root for this is my character you know this was the worst thing that i've read i'm going to give it two stars unfortunately so out of all the manga that i read in this vlog my favorite it's, it's so obvious like i went to the manga store because i wanted to buy the second volume the second omnibus and it was sold out like not even one omnibus not even one volume was left so i'm gonna wait for it to be back in stock and i'm going to continue reading this one asap because this is my favorite thing now like this is my new personality and i would like you to embrace it but this was the, my favorite thing that i've read this week this vlog get on it uh the second favorite thing is of course my god like manga made by women just really hit different like this is a, a work of art it was so freaking good and the third best thing was Haikyuu. I just really, really liked it. Um, it was fun. I think I'm going to watch the anime. I think I would enjoy the anime more than the manga. Then we have Sailor Moon, as iconic as ever. Then we have Attack on Titan. Uh, so yeah, these were like my favorite things that I read. These were all the viral, most famous manga ever that everyone raves about and everyone talks about. And yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog i am so sorry for how messy my life is and all of my vlogs so and all of my vlogs are 
hopefully I'm going to get out of this rut soon. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.